Good day, everyone. In this video, let's talk about the language of mathematics. For the learning outlines, number one, discuss the language and symbol of mathematics, explain the nature of mathematics as a language, and translate English sentences into mathematical symbols. Let us define what is a language. Language is a fundamental tool that bridges the gap among people from varying origins and cultures that can be communicated in either spoken or in written manner. Imagine when you go to other country, example, in China. For some reason, you lost your way back to your hotel. So, paano ka magtatanong sa mga tao doon? They speak Mandarin and ask Filipinos speak Tagalog. For example, yung mga signage nila is naka-Mandarin, hindi naka-English. So, mahirapan tayong maintindihan kung ano yung mga nakasulat dun sa signage o yung mga sinasalita nila kasi we don't know their language. For example, if you are planning to get married with someone who has different language and culture, of course, kailangan mong malaman kung ano yung language niya and yung culture niya para uh, makapamuhay ka or you can live with him as a spouse or with her as a spouse. It is like math. Para lang din siyang math, okay, na merong sariling language. So what is a mathematical language? Mathematical language, it is a system used in the field of mathematics to communicate mathematical ideas, concepts, and theories among others. It is a distinct and unique from the usual language that people are used to. It is used to communicate the abstract and logical ideas. Okay? So, mathematics has, it, has its own language. Kumbaga, mathematics is a symbol or symbolic language siya. So, bakit ba natin kailangang aralin yung language of mathematics? For us to understand the idea and concepts of mathematics. Kasi si math, we use it everywhere. We use it daily. On our daily life, we use mathematics. Kahit sang ka pa. Nasa school ka man, nasa mall ka man, or even nasa bahay ka lang, or kaya nag-grocery ka, so we use mathematics. So, imagine natin if walang math. So, paano natin, or how can we quantitatively describe the motion of an object? Or, how can we know our electricity and water consumption if we don't have a math? Or if you're on a diet, how can you calculate your uh, calorie intake for the day? Or if you want to know your height or your weight, diba? so we need mathematics. So we have three characteristics of mathematical language. Number one, being precise. Number two, being concise and being powerful. So first is let's talk about being precise. Okay, mathematical language is precise. It, it, it can make very fine distinction among sets of symbols. It is accurate or exact. Example, if you have 13 minus 2 equals to 11, okay, 13 minus 2 is really equal to 11. Now, when we change the sign or the operation here, if we make it add or nagyan lang natin siya ng slash, so 13 plus 2 na siya. Ibig sabihin, it doesn't mean 11 na. Ibig sabihin, 15 na siya. So, mabago lang natin yung symbol, ibig sabihin, it could mean anything. For example, in Mandarin language, meron kasi doon mga the way they pronounce or the diction may mali lang silang diction or pag-pronounce sa isang word, iba na yung ibig sabihin. Though, same, uh, same, yung, same yung spelling, but the pronunciation and the symbol for a certain uh, word na yon ay iba. So, magka -iba, maiba, maiba lang, maiba na yung ibig sabihin. Okay? Ang isang 930, it could mean anything, depende sa context na gagamitin mo. So, it is important to know when to use or how to use a certain number. For example, ang 930, it could mean time, Pwede siyang 9.30 a.m. or 9.30 as a whole number. Example, other example in symbols, di ba? Meron tayong degrees. So, bang, ang degrees na gagamit natin in different context. Example, sa temperature. We have 36.5 degree Celsius. And also, we can use degree sa angle measurement, sa geometry. So, we have 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. So, numbers have many uses. Depende sa context na gagamitin natin. Numbers and symbols. So, what are the mathematical symbols na ginagamit natin? Mathematical symbol is used to refer a certain concepts, idea, quantities, and others. These are the common used, commonly used mathematical symbols in math. Example, if you have digits. Okay, digits, yun yung ating 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Up to 9. Okay, basic operation. Basic operation natin, yung plus, minus, divide, and then times. And then sets, ano yung mga sets natin? Set symbols, pwede yung union, intersection. Subset, okay. And then variables. Variables, any letters na pwede natin makita sa alphabet. So from A to Z, pwede natin gamitin as a variable. So commonly used, we have X, Y, and Z. Normally, it is used in a small letter. Okay, logical symbols. Ano mga logical symbols natin? We have uh, conjunction, yung inverted V, conjunction. Yung V means disjunction. And then 
yung arrow na nakaturo sa right means conditional or pwede yung arrow both direction ang tawag dyan ay biconditional or yung if then natin. Geometrical symbols, ang uh, example yung yung line sa taas, okay, big sabihin a line segment. O kaya line na may arrow sa taas means a line or yung may isang arrow lang ibig sabihin ray. Okay? Next naman is set notations. Ano yung mga set notation example natin? Um yung letter Z. Okay, letter Z means integers. Yung R natin means real number. Kapag Q, irrational. Yung C, complex numbers. Yung N, natural numbers. So, yan yung mga set notation natin. Symbols na ginagamit. Equality, yung mga equal natin. Inequality, greater than or less than. So, those are the mathematical symbol na ginagamit natin in math. What else? So, here are some example or here are some symbol that we use in mathematics. Okay? So, we don't need to memorize all of that but be familiar with the symbol so that we can understand math better. Okay, para ano lang siya, yun, di ba, yung, yung mga language in Chinese, sa Greek, in English, are the same. Okay, they communicate the ideas or thought. However, yung Chinese word or symbol may mean different in Greek language or in English. That will, that, uh, that will result in confusion. But in math, math is a universal language. Kung baga, kahit anong lahi or nasaan ka mang parte ng mundo, you should be able to understand the math subject. And that is the reason, okay, math is precise. Okay? Next natin is mathematic, mathematical language is a concise. So concise, being concise, it can briefly express long sentences. We can convert mathematical language into expressions or equation. Being concise means it able, it able to write or say things briefly. Okay, for example, the sum of a number and 3. Instead of saying the sum of a number and 3, we can write it as x plus 3. x means our uh, unknown number or itong a number. Yan yung x and then we have 3. And then the operation involved is sum, meaning ng sum ay total. Ano bang operation involved pag sinabing sum or total, we have plus. Kaya meron tayong x plus 3. Okay, so here are some mathematical translation that we can use. For example, in addition... We can use the word plus as is or add, increased by, more than, total of, sum of, added to, increased by, exceeds by, greater than. Next, sa minus naman or sa subtraction, we can use the word minus, subtract, decreased by, diminished by, less, difference of, subtracted from, less than, fewer than. And then sa multiplication, we can use the word times, multiply product of, twice, thrice, or yung off lang, pwede rin, and then multiplied by. So yung sa off, kunwari, 50% of 100. But when we get the percentage, what is the operation that we use, di ba? Multiplication. And then sa division, we can use the word divide, quotient of, divided by, ratio of, average, out of, all over, split into. And then for equals, we, we can use the word is, or are, was, or were, will be, gives, Yields, sold for, and cost. So, but, but uh, careful lang sa is. May depende sa pagkakagamit ng is. Okay, hindi porket may is ay equal agad. Depende po sa construction ng sentence. And for the equality sign, meron naman tayong kapag greater than. So, we have more than, greater than, larger than, or above. Kapag naman greater than or equal, we can use the word minimum, at least, it's not less than, not, sm uh, not smaller than. And then for the less than, we can use the word smaller than or below. And kapag less than or equal, we can use the word maximum, at most, not more than, not greater than. So those are some translation that you can use for to translate English sentence to mathematical sentence. Okay? Next is, mathematical language is a powerful. Okay? It can simplify complex thoughts with relative ease. Ibig sabihin, we can express the complex thoughts through the formula, example, in P6. If you want to quantitatively describe the motion of an object, or how far does an object will reach in P seconds, or how much work is done, power or energy, how electricity works, all of that can express using formula or equation. Okay, therefore, mathematics is a language of science, business, economics, music, architectures, engineer, accountancy, arts, and even in politics. Okay, so now let's talk about the Mathematical expression and mathematical sentence.